Live services are a significant hazard on any construction project. It's critical that during the planning phase, they're identified and a safe system of work established for the construction stage of the project. Our role is just to ensure our guys are kept safe. The advantage the guys have today is the apprentice or the electrician. They all can get their word in there from the T4 meeting. So the main thing for you guys, especially the young lads, don't be afraid to ask the question. We were brought to the table, so we, we were able to eliminate risk and manage out risk. The important ones are the quality of the work and the safety of the people, and safety is number one. The purpose of, of the, uh, the video today is we just want to talk to you about the uh, significant hazard in construction, which is, which is live services. It's, it's electricity, uh, would, would be probably the biggest and most dangerous uh, hazard. We're powering up the uh, LV switch gear beside me here. It's a significant process. We've got you know, a whole team of health and safety people, but also a whole team of uh, authorised persons. So starting with a senior authorised person, and between the two of them, that interface, is, they manage the, the whole request for energisation, the locks and the tags, making sure that uh, all the infrastructure when power comes in, that it's locked off and it's safe for it run downstream so our electricians can continue to do all of their installations safely. All paperwork um, for energisation, isolations, and um, permits come through me. So at any given time, we know exactly where every lock is, who's working on the system, which is very important. And at the end of the day, they sign off the permits, they bring back the key, and we know that system is still safe. I suppose I, I understand the culture because my background is with your, I was an apprentice, I was an electrician. I know what it's like to be on the tools. Back when I was serving my time, communication wasn't as sophisticated as the the processes we use on site today. We're working on live services next to live services. So we need to make sure now that we know what we're working on, we know where it's fed from, we know why we're doing what we're doing. There's only one way to deal with live services, lads, and it's the right way. We have the procedures in place, we need to follow those procedures. Any other questions, guys? We should have power on there by three o'clock, so. With that, we all have our procedure in place with the permits and the electrical permits are now on. It's a full lockout, tag out should be in place for all boards going forward, all works on any boards going forward. So very often in construction projects, the quality of information deteriorates the further up the chain it goes. I think our process um, prevents this deterioration of the, the quality of this information, be it from T4 to T3 to T2 to T1, because we are constantly dealing with fact. So Gary Flynn, I'm Jacob's EHS lead on the project. Um, we're here today to talk about live service, which has been one of our main hazards on the project. You know, there's a whole process of planning prior to this. We're the uh, electrical contractor, Jacobs are the main contractor. So there's a whole coordination piece for us to apply for a permit to, to energise. We're working very closely with our partner, Shore, uh, who manage our lockout tagout procedure and electrical procedure on this site. We lock this key off, we take this key and we place it into the lockbox, which is this lockbox here. And that lockbox is then locked out also and that goes then to the lockout tagger office. We've developed a good trustworthy relationship with Shore Engineering over the last couple of years, delivering a large number of large scale projects for our clients. So we just want to ensure that the COVID-19 procedure doesn't take the focus off the risk of working in live environments, just to ensure our guys are kept safe. So we walk the site, we communicate to them, we get involved, we make sure that they have a clear understanding of the hazards that surround them. So I, I suppose at this stage of projects, you know, for the guys working out there on the on the on the actual infrastructure uh, or doing the installations, there's probably about two years of uh, of planning that's gone into this, uh, you know, and the development of electrical safety plans and the safe systems of work to manage their safety now through the next phase as power is being distributed down through the building. But the important ones are the quality of the work and the safety of the people.